today's video is a Halloween decorate with me and it is pretty special because it is in collab with one of my friends Megan her channel is love Meg if you've never checked her out before she is full of homemaking and cleaning inspiration and motivation she does some lifestyle content as well I'm sure a lot of y'all have already heard about her from now but if you haven't I would love for you to go check out her Halloween decorate with me as well Megan goes all out when she decorates, which is why I love her decorating videos so much. She is a mom of two. She has a boy and a girl. And like I said, she goes all out. So every time she does decorating videos, I'm just in awe of the things she comes up with. She's got some DIY she's going to do. I've already seen some of her clips, so I can't wait for y'all to see her video as well. When we rewind, feels so nice. We time. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kimmy, and I do a lot of similar videos as Love Meg does. Do cleaning, cooking, shopping, all sorts of stuff. Let's go ahead and jump in to this Halloween decorate with me. So this is all of my Halloween decor. I kind of went overboard, but it is going to be so much fun. So what I'm going to do is actually empty out this bucket right here. And I'm going to start with the bathrooms and the bedrooms because they are the smallest. So I'll go ahead and put whatever decor I think I'm going to use for those three rooms in this bucket. That way it makes it a lot easier on me. I don't have to keep coming back in here and finding stuff. And then we'll do the living room and the kitchen after that. And this year... We are doing a Halloween tree, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Throughout this video, I wanted to give y'all some decorating tips if you have a small space and you still want to do a lot of decorating. And I hope these ideas are helpful for y'all. But the first one, we're going to go in our guest bathroom. And all I'm going to do is use a small pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I'm using a hand towel that literally took up no space at all because I just added it to one of the baskets that was already in our bathroom. But it was just enough that it expresses Halloween and it's still really pretty as well. All I'm going to do for the guest bathroom is this little pumpkin right here that I got at Dollar Tree and then this Hocus Pocus hand towel right there. So that's all I'm going to do in this room. Erin's really the only one that uses this bathroom anyways. I like to call this Erin's bathroom and then our main bathroom in our bedroom I like to call my bathroom. So this is Erin's bathroom and I think that is just good enough. To a small bar with neon lights Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave I want to do in here is work on these little planters. I like to use them for decor, um, not just for planting plants, because we do have a small space. So using your walls will help you have more decorations but without taking up a lot of space so I have these decorative shreds from Dollar Tree they had them in the black and orange and then I also have these picks that I'm going to put in there to make it more Halloween like Don't wanna be shy. So here's the bathroom. We just have this gray and white curtain right here. 
So, I got the Believe in Magic hand towel on this. Then, I don't have anything on this side because that basket's already there. So, over here, I still am using this Mango Matcha from Bath & Body Works from this summer. So, I'm just going to keep using it. And it is orange, so that makes me happy. But, here's this pumpkin. If you've been here before, you know, I'll. this is like my favorite little pumpkin ever. And I always tell y'all, it was $5.98. I swear I got this at Hobby Lobby, but it, it could have been like a Big Lots. Because I'm pretty sure Hobby Lobby's stickers say Hobby Lobby. Then, this came from the Dollar Tree. And it was only a dollar. And I think that is so cute. It's got little sparkles on it as well, which are kind of hard to see. But if you had a candle sitting here in front of that, especially when the light's off... Um, it would look so cute. And then these little planters right here. I just put that stuff in there and I kind of wanted it to hang out a little bit. And then here's, I love the jack-o'-lantern. I think that's, it's creepy but also cute. And you can see it's just in there. I did have to cut the pick a little bit short so that it could fit and not, you wouldn't be able to see the stick part of it. But I think that's adorable. And then the witch's hat right here. And it, it keeps flop, flopping up on me. But all of that was from the Dollar Tree. So super affordable if you're on a budget. And really easy to do as well. So that's so cute. All right. Bathroom is complete. All right. Now we're going to work on the bedroom. Do y'all hear the Halloween music in the background? So this comforter is actually printed like that one is up there, but I decided to just flip it over so it would be white. And then I have these uh, burgundy pillows right here. I'll link down below in my Amazon store. And then I have the Hocus Pocus pillowcases right there that I'm going to put on this pillow and that pillow. And we'll put these shams on the two pillow shams right there. So this will look really cute. And then I have, I was really hoping that these would kind of go together. And I think they do. And then we'll decorate that little, the top of the table right there. And then I'll also do something right here. I may have to find another spot to put all my perfumes. My next tip is to buy pillow cases instead of buying new pillows. So I was actually guilty of this when we first moved into this mobile home. I would just buy every year for each season, I would just buy a new pillow. And then I realized how much space that takes up when you go to store your items. So the tip is to get pillow cases. They are so much easier to store and then they don't add any extra clutter to the room because you're just covering up what was already there. All right, so I've got my pillows and I love this. This blanket, it's actually a coral color, but it definitely is pulling orange right now. I decided I wanted to tie everything in. At first, I did not have that uh, burgundy pumpkin over there. I just had the witch please sign. So, I was like, well, this pulls in with the witch please sign. But then I need something else to match with my burgundy pillows. That way, everything ties in together. So, even the black on the Hocus Pocus in Salem broom goes with this sign right here with the black pom-poms and this is i got this at tj maxx it actually is like a padded it's like a pillow inside of there but there's that witch please sign and it's kind of like a farmhouse boho theme so it could go for two different types of home decor and then this pumpkin right here i also got at tj maxx i love how sparkly it is and it's it it's good for a bedroom because it's also very romantic as well so put that there and that kind of ties in with the pillows which the pillows are showing up a lot brighter than that but it works and then there's these I also picked these up off of Amazon because I got a set of four 
anything that I show y'all in the video that I can link down below, I will. And I just want y'all to know they are affiliate links. So I earn a commission off of it, but it doesn't cost you any extra. So it would be just like if you were looking it up online, except for it helps out my channel a lot because then I'm able to buy more decor and stuff like that off of Amazon to show y'all. So I think that's all I'm going to do for the bedroom. Between the bedroom and the bathroom in here, I really don't think we need anything else over here. These I'm gonna use, I'm gonna carry these with me. These were leftovers from the bathroom, but between this room and the bathroom, I think we're good. So the next room I'm gonna decorate is, I think we'll do the kitchen next because I have a lot of decor. I have a lot of decor for the kitchen, but I feel like the living room is gonna take me the longest because we're having to decorate the Christmas tree and I have not even put the hooks on the ornaments yet. <laughs> So, this may be a long video. I don't know. In between me and Love Meg's videos, y'all are going to have like a full day of Halloween decorating inspiration. So, I hope you love the red button. Even no. if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside. That cracked me up. I had to leave it in. <laughs> I was having to send over clips to Love Meg, and so I was getting Aaron to help me film a little for that. And <laughs> he is, he's learning. If it's not a GoPro, he's like, I don't know how to use a regular camera, which is funny because I have no idea how to use a GoPro. So we're kind of in the same boat there. But now we are going to decorate this tear tray. And my biggest tip for tear trays is to use a lot of filler items. That way you do not have to buy a lot of little knickknacks to put in a tear tray to fill it up. That can get a little expensive if you are looking for a more affordable way to decorate a tear tray. And it just, again, when you go to store all these items, creates more clutter. So what I like to do is use a big garland. I got this one from Dollar Tree and you can just cut it to size. And then I also like to put a lot of coffee cups in my tear tray because they take up a lot of space and you can always just store them in your kitchen cabinets with the rest of your cups and just pull them out when you need them. And then I filled the coffee cups with the decorative paper and then I do have a few little wooden pieces that I'm going to throw in here and then some pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. putting this tear tray right here beside my coffee pot um how cute is this the jack skeleton cups came from tj maxx and then a lot of the pumpkins or all the pumpkins actually came from the dollar tree and also everything else in here came from the dollar tree the tear tree is from hobby lobby these are from tj maxx and then everything else was Dollar Tree. I'm so sorry y'all. My slippers are squeaky. Which is brew. And this one says Home Sweet Haunted Home. And I was actually surprised that that one was at the Dollar Tree because of how pretty it is. And then I've just got that garland. I cut it up and put it in there as best I could. I think this is my favorite tear tray I've ever done. Just not that nice and humble kind. That will be Alright, so now we're going to decorate the table. And just like 
in the bedroom where I was giving y'all the tip to just buy the pillow cases instead of the pillows. For the table, we're just, I took off the old tablecloth and we're just replacing it with another tablecloth. And this tablecloth I actually got at Dollar Tree. So I don't know if I'll actually end up storing it this year. It depends on how well it holds up, but it is plastic. So it's probably not gonna last more than one season. But I'm going to decorate the table. I also looked really silly vacuuming off the table but it had a bunch of little decoration pieces that had fallen off with a tear tray so I wanted to get that cleaned up before we went on to the decorating. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this. I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold Now I'm going to add a few more touches to the kitchen. I told y'all it was one of those rooms that I wanted to kind of go out all go all out and my goodness I can't speak today. So I have a hand towel and then I also have the sign that says come in for a spell and I'm just going to rearrange these picks and flowers uh, at the bottom of this so it kind of looks more put together. Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless So the last thing I'm going to do in the kitchen is start my diffuser And I'm using the scent Harvest Spice from P&J Trading I get this brand off of Amazon. They come in a bunch of different kits that you can pick out like winter, autumn, Halloween. They have all sorts of campfire. You name it, they have it. So, this tablecloth is from the Dollar Tree. This table runner is actually LED battery powered, but I did not put any batteries in it yet. This is from TG Max. These I use for fall too. They I got these off of Poshmark. This pumpkin was from the Dollar Tree. This one was from Hobby Lobby. And this one was also from Hobby Lobby. These little cups were from the Dollar Tree and I just put the Reese's and the Kit Kats in there so they would go with the orange that's on here and they they have little fingers on them. So that is the kitchen table and then over here this sign is from the Dollar Tree 
And I just put these two things right there to cover up the gaps because I didn't like the gaps at the bottom. I know it's supposed to be like a fence. I like the different heights at the top, but I didn't like it at the bottom. And then this pick is from Hobby Lobby. And then this came in that set of three from TJ Maxx. And then this is also what I'm diffusing. I have not put my little jack-o'-lantern decal on here yet, but I'm using the Harvest Spice from P&J Trading. It smells really good. So all of that that I just showed you, plus the tear tray over there, is all I'm doing for the kitchen. I think that is plenty in here. We just ate pizza. <laughs> So now we can finally get into the living room, which is going to be the most fun part, I think. So the first thing I'm going to do in here is decorate the tree because it is going to take the longest. But I got this skeleton at the Dollar Tree and at first I was going to hang it up on a door or in front of a window. But I forgot to get a tree topper <laughs> for Halloween. So it actually turned out to be a great tree topper. I love it. Then I was messing with some lights and garland but I decided not to use either one of those. But I did get this Witch's Garland from TJ Maxx that I'm going to use instead. It is so pretty. It's so sparkly. And it is like a pillow as well. I don't know what it is with all the pillow decor, but I'm loving it. So the tip I have for your tree is to use garland like this. It adds a really nice touch and it doesn't take up a lot of space when you go to store your items. And then also, I didn't use any deco mesh on this tree, but I do for Christmas, and that's another great tip, is to fill in all those spaces with the deco mesh. That way, you don't have to buy as many ornaments, and they don't take a, up a lot of space when you go to store them. I got Aaron in here to help me decorate. He said, I'm not any better at this than you are. I'm like, I know. I just need extra hands so this doesn't take me a decade to do. The tree always takes such a long time. And I feel like I lack patience when it comes to a tree. But I do enjoy seeing it every night light up in my living room. This time of year is my favorite time of year because it starts to have cooler weather it's not super sunny outside and i don't know about y'all but i much prefer gloomy days i'm the opposite of like you know how people get seasonal depression well mine is in the summer and then i become so happy in the cooler seasons because it's kind of a lot more moody outside and darker inside. I just love it. I'm weird, but you know, all the best people are crazy. That's what I keep telling myself. And then the final thing I'm gonna do on here, aside from picks, is add these two witch's legs that I got from the Dollar Tree. So 
here's the tree so far. I love these little taller tree legs sticking out of there. Okay, so I've got the scary skeleton up at the top as like a tree topper. And then we've got all our ornaments on mostly the front. <laughs> I don't have anything back here at all. I said it's cheaper that way if you just stick them all on the front. I really like this witch's garland right here. It's got a uh, velvet on the bottom and they're kind of like pillows. Got those at TJ Maxx. Um, I don't know if y'all want me to do like just a walkthrough tour in another video so I can tell y'all where everything is from and link it all down below. So let me know if you want me to do that. But got all our ornaments on there. Now I'm going to I have a bag with this is for something else. This bag is full of picks. So I'm gonna put some of these orange picks on there. And then I've still got, whoops, some of those pumpkins that just fell out everywhere. Um, I've still got those, but I have not done that up there yet, which I'll probably use at least one, one of these and one of the witches one. So, just like we did in the other bathroom. I'm going to save two of those for that. So I can use these two. And then I've got one more witch hat right there I can put in there too. So I'm going to put all these picks on the tree. And then we'll see what it looks like. I turned my lights down so y'all can see what it looks like now. So that's their feet. And then I just kind of popped these picks in where I thought they would go. And then I've got these little picks too. And the sparkly leaf right here. Some more of those like squiggly picks. There's another pumpkin right there. Another pick kind of just sticking out of there. And then got this orange super sparkly leaf. And there's a witch hat somewhere. Oh, I'll also put this pick here, but it is more fall, so I tried to cover it up with the black. And then there's that witch's hat. So, tree's done. Now I just need to put a skirt on the bottom and then I'm thinking about putting this pillow because it's long down there almost as if it was like a gift just so it's not bare down there but we'll see. see me add the pillow to the bottom of the tree but I ended up using it in another place which y'all will see closer to the end of the video so I just stuck with this little witch thing down there and then the white I can't even think of what it is it's basically just webbing and the funniest thing is my dog is fascinated with that white web stuff down there and it's kind of sticky so it gets on her nose and then she gets frustrated with me i just think that's hilarious i never would have thought that a dog would mess with like stuff near a tree i've always thought it's just cats that do that but she's a little chihuahua so it kind of makes sense right so we're moving on to this little chair that we have had forever erin used to have to use this chair it's one of those that 
rotates up and down if you have trouble sitting down or getting up. And before he had a hip replacement surgery, he did struggle a lot with like getting up and down out of chairs. But now he's had his hip replaced. And if y'all don't know, he has ankylosis spondylitis or ankyl. It's really hard to pronounce, but it's like a very rough arthritis. It's an autoimmune illness that destroys your larger joints. So it took one of his hips, but he got it replaced. And we don't have to have this chair anymore, which I'm very thankful for because he takes shots every two weeks to help block his immune system from attacking him. But we just, we just keep the chair in case one day we may need it again. God forbid. But, enough rambling. I've got these two extra pillowcases and I'm trying to figure out what to do here. So Aaron's helping me. I'm like, does this look good? Does that look good? And I'm like, should I just do one pillow? And then you can tell I'm like, okay, got it. <laughs> He's so sweet. Like he, he would rather just say yes or okay than to be like, no, I don't like it. And I want him to be like, don't do that. It doesn't look good. <laughs> I need help sometimes. But now I'm just going to continue decorating. I've kind of rambled a lot through this decorating. But now we're going to work on the little TV stand right here. Which we're going to get a new one very soon. I'm so excited. Because this one is falling apart at the bottom. But I'm just going to use this creepy cloth that I got at the Dollar Tree. And we're going to creep out our little TV stand. So I'm taking quite a while to decorate this little area, but it is almost done. I did want to share with y'all for the chair. I forgot to mention that what I like to do for every season, since the brown fabric on the chair is old and it doesn't really match anything in the rest of our house, I always just like to cover it with a blanket depending on the season and then put a little pillow there to match the season as well. And it just makes it seem a little more up to date and like a decor piece almost instead of just an old chair that doesn't really fit in with the rest of the house so forgot to mention that also don't ask what i'm doing here i really don't know <laughs> it's always an experiment like you kind of just play with things and then if it doesn't work you remove stuff you add stuff like it's kind of just almost like a game until you figure out how exactly you want it to go but everything is done now i'm so excited to show y'all the finished product and i hope you've enjoyed this video so far and all the tips i was able to give you and of course let me know your tips down below as well and how you like to decorate what was your theme this year ours i tried to do like a hocus pocus theme slash creepy skeleton slash what else do we do yeah creepy skeleton So we finally got the living room 
figured out there was some things I was messing with. It, my camera does not know what to focus on. So you already saw the tree. This chair, I just put this black velvet blanket on it. I got from Hobby Lobby. That pillowcase was from the set of four from Amazon. Then I've got this orange velvety pumpkin right there sitting beside it just so it kind of ties everything in. And over here, I've got some creepy cloth so that my gray bins don't look so stark. And then I took one of those pumpkin picks and put it right there with a little creepy sign that was from Dollar Tree. Then down there, it's just a box of fun. So there's acorns that are sparkly, jack-o'-lanterns, some leaves, some witch's hats, and then I covered that up with some creepy cloth too, and the orange paper shreds. And then I really wanted to use this pillow, but I really didn't have a place to put it, so I just put it there. It covered up some cords, and then there is a witch's broom right there. This is probably one of my favorite spots over here. This, I'll show you the witch in a second. Those are not sound effects, it's behind me. There's the little cheetah print blanket. One of these velvet pumpkins, I think is so pretty right there. And then I got this pumpkin from Hobby Lobby and flipped it like that. And then I got the other Sanderson sisters pumpkin right there. And then I've got me some Sanderson sisters. <laughs> it's not actually Sanderson sisters, but it is three witches. And as you can see, they make noise. Um, but there that is. I think it's so cool. One of them's got a pumpkin hat, the other one has a bat, and then the other one has a spider, but how cool is that? And it will just play. So I kind of want to show y'all what it looks like in here while it's dark. Uh, it's a mood. <laughs> it is a mood. I'm so excited. Uh, it's not actually dark yet, but it is. I six something at night so how cool did all this turn out and this does look pretty cool in the dark so that's everything in the living room and then we have an open floor plan so you can see our kitchen from the living room and you can see the living room in the kitchen so I forgot to put my camera stand up. <laughs> Anyways. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Also, I didn't think I showed y'all, but I have a happy Halloween shirt on. I wanted to feel festive. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And comment down below if you're new so I can say hello to you. Um, and then... If y'all have not yet seen Love Meg's Halloween Decorate with me, I will have her video linked down below. So definitely go check out her video as well. And tell her I sent you if you have not subscribed to her channel yet. But without saying anything else, I hope you'll have a great day. And I will see you back here very soon for another one. Don't forget to tell me if you want to see a Halloween tour. Like just a walkthrough. Um, because I can do that for y'all as well if you want. Alright, bye!